okay. Okay, everybody can still see my screen? Yes. Okay, thank you. Just wanna make sure they went through, okay. Um, okay. All right, so that was the subtracting. So now I'm gonna multiply what I have in 7A, okay? Probably should have, as I'm telling you, I probably should have centered this. Okay, so right here in the middle, center that. Um, so I'm going to take M and I'm going to multiply N. So I want to multiply those two, so M and N. So for me, it's easier. I just go here and then I use my mouse. Okay, so I just hit. So I go multiply here to get that up. And I only want to multiply those two. Okay, so you got to remember to change your... I'm going to change it to an asterisk, which is shift H, and I'm going to hit enter. So I multiplied those two there. Okay. And I just pulled it down. Sit. Okay. I'm going to divide the 5A by 5B, so that's H and I. So I'll do this out for you. So I'm gonna go equals sum parentheses H3. I'm gonna go down to the slash at the bottom of my keyboard by I3 parentheses close. Gives you a decimal which is fine because you divided those. So there's that. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to move on to the average. So I am going to take the average across. Okay, all of those there. So I'm going to go up here, to that E. I'm going to go to average, but I don't want all those numbers. So I'm going to use my mouse, and I'm only going to highlight these ones right here. So from H3 to N3, I'm going to get the average. Okay. I'm going to do this again because I just want you to see something. So right here. It is the same thing when you pull up the formula, it's still the colons, okay? But it's equals average. So if you need to type it in, it's equals average parentheses, H4 colons N4. So it's equals average, not equals sum, okay? Because you're looking for the average. Enter. And then the same thing with the max, okay? If you see here, I'm going to look for that maximum number. It equals max. And your max number in there is going to be the 32. And then I'm going to pull that down. Okay. And the same thing for the min. So I'm going to go back up here, get that min number. I'm going to use my mouse. I'm going to go back and highlight. Maybe not. I'll just go, go back here, get the min. Oh, I did some. <laughs> okay, go back here. Let's do that again, the min. Okay. And we're going to go from here to here, enter. So 18 is the minimum number. And pull it down. Okay. So just because I'm going to go through right now, 
And I'm going to get a chart on just this right here. Insert. I'm going to get the donut. And then here. Okay. So I'm going to change my chart title. Where's my chart title? Okay. So I'm going to change it. Not, it's not going to be blue. I'm going to change it to um, class size by grade. Okay. And then I'm going to put in my data labels on the outside here so we can see how many are in there by the grade. Okay. All right, so I have done a lot of talking there. I'm going to stop this here. I'm going to stop for a second. <laughs> 